Hi there, this is Electrofields 4, Coulomb's Law, and this is the distance of closest approach. It can also, also ties in with nuclear physics, but it's a, a very common problem that comes up. Some exam boards can be worth up to five marks, so it's best that we cover this one. So it's just a straightforward question, and I'll show you how to do it. If You, you can have a go at it if you get it wrong. Just uh, watch my example, and then I, my advice is to redo it until you just know it. So here's the question. An 8 mega electron volt alpha particle heads straight for a gold nucleus with proton number or atomic number plus 79 times the charge of an electron, so 79 protons. How close does it get before it is stopped and repelled back along its original path? So if you want to have a go at this, please do. So essentially, we've got this alpha particle, it's got 8 mega electron volts of. I did not mean to do that. It's got 8 mega electron volts of energy kinetic energy. So what we need to do is convert that into joules first of all. So to do that we've got the 8 MeV so 8 times 10 to the 6 electron volts and we need to multiply it by the charge of electrons so 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 and that will give us the energy in joules which is 1.28 times 10 to the power minus 12 joules of energy. Now, in terms of what's happening, we've got some work being done against the electrostatic force. So we know that the work done is force times distance, or FR. And we also know that uh, we've got an equation for the electrostatic force. So work done will be equal to... Now, remember, the electrostatic force is K, Q1, Q2, over R squared, multiplied by R, because it's force times R. The R's cancel. So we're left with the work done being equal to K, Q1, Q2, over R. And then we simply need to rearrange to get R. So R is equal to the constant K, Q1, Q2, divided by the work done. So K is a constant that we know. Charge 1 is the 79 times the charge of a proton. Charge 2 is the charge on an alpha particle, which is an alpha particle, remember, is two protons and two neutrons, so its charge is 2e, divided by the work done. The work done we just figured out is 1.28 times 10 to the minus 12. So what I'm going to do is clear this and then just put our numbers in and see what we get. So distance r, which we just got, is k, q1, q2, over the work done. So let's just put our numbers in. So K, which we've used lots now, is 8.99 times 10 to the power 9 times charge 1. So we've got 79 times the charge of a proton. And then we've got to multiply that by charge 2, which is 2 times the charge of a proton. So we can do 79 times 2 times the 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 squared. And then divide that by the work done. So the work done we got earlier to be 1.28 times 10 to the minus 12. And if you put that in your calculator, that will give you the distance of closest approach for this 8 mega electron volt alpha particle. 2.91 times 10 to the power of minus 14 meters. So if you got that, well done. It's a very difficult problem. Um, and like I said, an exam can be worth up to five marks. So hopefully that's helped. Uh, good luck and I'll speak to you soon.